What's up guys? <coughs> what? <coughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my Mm? Welcome back to my channel. I'm sick, so like my voice, ugh. Valentine's Day, so I grew up hating this day because in school I would never get any Valentine's Day cards or lollipops or whatever it was from any of the boys or anyone. I would never get anything. And then I never had a boyfriend and it was just always like, you know, a day to remind me that I was in fact alone. And then when I was like 18, I went, I took my best friend out for Valentine's Day. I like picked her up with flowers and a card and chocolate and we had like a romantic dinner. We went out for dinner, it was so fun. And then I realized like this day is so stupid because now that dad and I have been together for six years and we are getting married, I realized that we never even celebrate this day. It's like very rare that we do. I know what it's like to feel the pressure on both ends. If you're in a relationship and you feel like you have to do something special, and if you're not in a relationship and you feel like, oh my God, I'm so alone, I get both sides. And to be completely honest, when you're with someone that you love, every day should be like Valentine's day. I'm not just saying that to be cheesy, but in all honesty, I don't feel like I need a specific day to like, express my love for Dan. We do it all the time throughout the year. But sometimes it is fun to dress up and go out, even if it's with your girlfriends, even if they come over to your house and you make dinner and you still wanna dress up and be fancy. I used to do that too, it's fun. I always like a reason to get done up because it just makes me feel really good. This video can apply to all of you girls out there, all of you guys. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. Just putting my hair up. I still have my curls from earlier, so I'm just gonna keep them like that. But I'm starting off using this product right here. This is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. I actually use this as a makeup primer because it fills in the fine lines and pores and makes your skin look so airbrushed with makeup on it. So I really like it for that reason. I just do like a small amount. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, so good. I use the shade, does that make sense? 7.75 or 7.7? I mean 5.75 or 5.75. I always feel like I have to work fast because this stuff like drips off my hand because it's very liquidy. But I love the finish it gives. <gasps> no boo! Oh my god. He's chewing my gizu. My comb. Tart shape tape, obvi. Always a must. I do a little bit under my eyes, around my nose and the bridge, and then on my chin and one spot. I know like I shouldn't be touching my spots with this. I know, and it spreads your zits, and I always preach that, but I'm being real. <laughs> Do any of you guys actually really genuinely every single time put the product on your hand or do you put it directly on your spot? Like be real, every single time. If you do, that's amazing, mad respect. <gasps> no, oh my God, now he's eating my extensions. What the fuck, dude, no. I'm just going to add some, tra not translucent, but like fine powder to the place that I just put concealer to set it. This is the Park Ave Princess Bronzer by Tarte. Big brush from Tarte as well. And just apply this to the apples slash hollows of my cheeks and bringing it up onto my temple. I'm like really messy when it comes to this stuff because when you blend it all out, it looks really nice. And just kind of dabbing it everywhere so it matches the rest of my body. Then into the eyes, Urban Decay Heat Palette. I'm going to be using three different shades. So I'm starting off with Chaser. This one right here. It's like a nude color. I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid just as a base and to add some like depth and shadow because I do have very hooded eyes. So like they're a little bit like Asian eyes. So when I close my eyes, I don't have like a full eyelid. So it's really hard to see my eyeshadows when I am wearing them. So I always have to like put them higher and I just blend out and I create like this brown shade here to act as like a shadow as if like I had more eyelid because then you can actually see the colors and it looks really nice. Then I'm gonna be going in with Dirty Talk. So it's like this coppery brown-ish color. My descriptions suck, but <laughs> I really like this color. And I'm gonna be applying this mainly in the outer corner and into my crease, but I eventually blend it all the way over my eyelid. It's just like I focus it more on the outside. Also, I am no means a makeup artist. I actually really suck at makeup, but I figured I would show you guys what I'm going to be rocking this Valentine's Day. I also bring it underneath a little bit and then I do the same thing on the other side. And then I take the same exact brush because I'm lazy and I don't really care. And I'm going in with Scorched, which is a shimmery 
coppery brownish purple color. And I'm gonna be applying that kind of all over the lid, a little bit in my crease, but it just adds a really nice shimmer. I avoid my inner corner because that's when I go in with my like highlight. I'm just using this like super old one, Soft and Gentle MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. It's still really nice. I apply it to the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. This from NYX, don't know what it's called. I just use one side of it for my eyebrows. And I have been getting my eyebrows threaded, so thank you so much for all of your super sweet comments saying my eyebrows have been looking really good lately because I have actually been going to a professional versus me trying to do it on my own and failing completely. Set them in place. Eyeliner, Man Eater by Tarte. Boo, I swear. <gasps> Boo! I'm trying to do my winged eyeliner. Oh my God. Do you mind? Stop. If I mess up guys, you know why. Excuse, uh, excuse me? No. This is actually what happens unless I'm standing up. Really? Okay, so I messed up a little bit because <clears throat> You know why? That's okay, this is enough to be perfect. As for mascara, ugh. I've been using this one, Voluminous Lash Paradise. Is it by Maybelline? I don't know, this was sent to me like a long time ago, it's actually really dried out. But I like it because it's the only freaking mascara that, 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 that doesn't smudge on my face. Every mascara smudges, every single one. Except for this one, and this one's not even waterproof, so like I don't understand their formula, but it's so good. It's either L'Oreal or Maybelline, I should really know that. Watch it be like CoverGirl. It's definitely a drugstore though. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Now as for lips, I do my classic lip that I do every single day and every single video I wear this exact lip combination. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Iconic Nude. Liquid lipstick, Kat Von D, bow and arrow, the bomb. I've been using this for like a year and a half and I still haven't run out. And every time I wear makeup, this is what I wear. Sometimes, like very rare once in a while, I wear the Kylie lip kit in Malibu, but this is usually my go-to. We're going to move on to the hair. Okay, so if you're wondering how I got these curls, I use a straightener, and if you're confused as how to do that, I actually have my most viewed video on YouTube is how to curl your hair with a straightener, and they last for days, at least for me, like my hair texture, my hair type, and yeah, totally can leave it like this, but this is Valentine's Day, and not that I ever really celebrate it, to be completely honest, because Dad and I, we're not really about that life, but we do really like to, once in a while, go out for dinner, so I do want to be an extra bit Oomph. And in order to do that, I need what Boo was chewing earlier, which are my extensions. I keep them in this little duffel bag because it just keeps them nice and neat. These are the same extensions I use in every video that I use extensions for. If you guys are new here, the ones I use are by Luxie Hair. They are my go-to extensions. I recommend them 110%. They're so good. The brand behind them is amazing. Now, I do have a custom length because they used to have really long lengths like years ago and I used to always purchase those ones. The other length that's almost like this is a million times better and I actually cut these because they were a little on the long side so I feel like this is almost the length, the longest length they, got, they have and these are the seamless collections so they're like the really thin ones. So they're super flat against your head and you do not see them which I really like because like pet peeve is when you see people's extensions, like I just hate it. They're the blonde balayage. These are a little bit more light, the um, roots, but that is because in the summer, my hair over here gets so light, it almost matches this. It's actually crazy the difference of how dark my hair gets in the winter because it just never sees sunlight. I by no means say you need to wear extensions for this hairstyle, but it does definitely help because my hair is very fine, although I have a lot of hair. When I put it in like a ponytail, like all my hair in one, the ponytail itself is very thin, like there's not much hair in it. So curls definitely help give a lot more volume to my hair, but the length with the extensions and the volume together is just like honestly anywhere I go when I wear my extensions people literally are like your hair is amazing all the time they're like oh my god all I get are questions about my hair even on Instagram 
Instagram, if I post pictures with my extensions, people are like, holy crap, your hair. Oh, also, if you don't know how I'm clipping in my extensions, I do have a lot of videos of how to do that on my channel. So I'll have like links down below for um, how I did my hair and how I put extensions in. I just hit myself in the face. Pretty simple, but I'll show you guys like, that's a pretty big difference. And once they're all blended, because I put them up like this in layers, how nice is that? Like, honestly, I know like everyone's cutting their hair off right now, but long hair will always be in because it's always beautiful and always nice. So for this hairstyle, because I've been obviously very into 90s lately, you guys know because, I mean, I don't know if you know, but if you watch my last video, you will see that everything reminded me of something from like the 80s or 90s. And this hairstyle I used to do as a child. I'm gonna do it again as an adult who is fully engaged, about to get married, whatever. I have a booger in my nose. If I had a booger in my nose this whole time, I'm probably gonna cry. I'm gonna be doing two Dutch braids here in pigtails. It's gonna be so cute, but so like romantic. I really love it. And then because I have my extensions all in like from here down, it's gonna add so much length and volume and so it's gonna make your hair look really long because the top parts of your hair will be kind of up and then it'll all connect and it'll look like very Ariana Grande. I don't know if I'll be able to talk while I do this, but we'll give it a try. I need, I'm just gonna use my finger. Actually, I shouldn't. It's still gonna be crooked, I feel it. It's like not in the middle. So you're going to like braid your hair but cross underneath the middle sections. I feel like it's not focusing properly, like focus. Okay, when the braid is like at the back of your head, you're gonna take a clear elastic or elastic that matches the color of your hair, it doesn't really matter. Pull it nice and tight. Pull out the braid, oh my gosh, this tan, yikes. And there you have this side. I like to still have pieces like covering my ear, but I mean, if you didn't, you could have it like that too, but I think this looks nice. I'm gonna do the other side. Look how cute! I mean, it's obviously really hard for me to see in the viewfinder, but this is what it looks like! Okay, I'm gonna zoom out, guys. So all of the hair... <sighs> Look how freaking cute this is. Honestly, I'm obsessed! It's so long! Can you see the top? I honestly don't know what it looks like because it's so hard for me to see in this viewfinder. Also, I do want to say, if you guys are curious in getting your extensions, I'll have a link listed down below and use the code AlexGentomo5 for money off your first order because I got you. Also, this video is in collaboration with Luxie Hair, so thank you so much for working with me again. You guys know, longtime lover. If you watch any of my videos, love them. Like, since legit start of my career. Legit. They have been there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. <coughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And also, if you guys are doing anything for Valentine's Day, whether it be with a friend or with your dog or with whatever, I want to know your guys' plans because I'm nosy. And also, if you want to check out my vlogging channel again, that'd be awesome. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! In this abandoned amusement park We come to life when it turns dark We're just carnival hearts, you and me